How's it going, you crazy people? Today, I am going to be switching it up a little bit and playing a little bit of Forza Horizon 5. You know, I figured I was going to steal a little bit of Dubs and B's thunder, if you will, and do a little random car drift build. See what I can do, see if it's any fun. Um, so, first thing we got to do is get that random car. I don't have a wheel spin, so kind of cheating a little bit here and I am going to use this random car generator that they've got over here and see what it gives me so we've got the 2018 Mustang GT don't mind if I do so let me just go ahead and I'm gonna buy a new one because I can't be bothered to mess with my my existing one if I'm honest because I don't believe they're exactly expensive. Yeah, they're not that expensive. We're going to go ahead and get that anime paint job going on this boy, assuming they got one. This will have to be fine. Yeah, I think this looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and try to drift it a little bit as stock. I have no idea what it's going to do, but I can't imagine it's going to be pretty. Being in some Mustang, probably all it's going to do is spin out and crash into the crowds, you know. But there's no telling. I'm not going to drive it like one of them idiots, so you never know. Just uh, give it a few turns, see what it's got. First off, let me mute and see what this sounds like. Not bad, not bad. Well, it's definitely got no grip, so it'll be doing something relating to not having grip. Well, it's got no grip, but it's also got no power, so, um, I guess that's something. Maybe I just need to have a little bit longer gear here. Now it's not going to be able to pull itself a bit. Ah, I was trying to downshift game. Very smart, very smart. Oh, yep, there it goes. Crashing into crowds and guardrails and whatever else it can find to crash into. Yeah, this is a very, very annoying drift, I will say. But, you know, hey. Alright. Let's see what kind of punch we can make it pack. See if we can turn this thing into a all-time point drift hero. Let's not not do that. See if we can put that twin turbo a V12. Okay, Lambo diesel. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm putting the diesel in it. You can't stop me. I'm just going to go ahead and completely max it out. What? 1,000 horsepower? Yeah, it should be fine. I want that 7-speed juicy goodness for the transmission, that's for sure. And where's the drift? There we go. Let's go ahead and make him fat because it's a Mustang. It needs it. And widen it out too because once again it's a Mustang. It needs it. It's center of gravity's garbage. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's standard stuff. Can't be bothered. 
All right, diesel Mustang drift build. It begins. We're gonna, we're gonna see what kind of punch it packs, I guess. Go ahead and do all the fun stuff. Oh my. Well, <laughs> that's all you can do there. You can go with my tried and true. Actually, my friend's tried and true. Four or five out in. That's what I call it. Four or five out in. Springs are down. Diff. Why is it like this? I mean, it's close, but. 85, that boy. Now let's take it back to that drift boy. That drift zone of a thousand drift zones. I'm probably gonna be in like fourth gear because this thing has just like stupid gear ratios. Oh well, no, I'm trying to get to the beginning of the drift zone, but you know, whatever. It was up here. I was on the wrong road because I'm very, very smart. Well, the diesel does have a lot of torque. It really doesn't want that angle. I don't care if it wants it or not, it's going to get it, but it doesn't really want it. Beautiful recovery on this car's part, I'm not even gonna lie. Recovering around that corner, he just instantly decides it's gonna continue straight, which is kinda cool, but at the same time, makes it hard to get that rebound angle. Not the biggest fan of this car, and that, that's like, that's completely max. I mean, As far as diesel goes, this is the best this thing gets. I know, I probably should have put the V12 in it. Yap at me in the comments if you want, but um... I prioritize fun over functionality when I'm gaming. I'm that dude that in Vanguard, the limited amount of it I've played because it's stupid, in my opinion, has not even touched a shotgun. Because, yeah, they're definitely overpowered but um that is it, that is the least fun way to play guaranteed and if you think otherwise then you're either below the age of eight or actually suffering a mental disability or both who am i to judge this thing, this thing does not like having angles. Wait, is tire wear... Why is my smoke black? Damage and tire wear none. Why has it started going black? I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's kind of cool, but... Um, isn't tire smoke usually white in this game? at the idea of actually having an angle. Just like everything else Mustang. Completely wannabe, but not good at it. Pretty standard for a Mustang, if you ask me. Or Mustang driver, for that matter. It is fun. It is fun. It just doesn't... It doesn't like what it's been given. Speaking mostly in regards to these angles. It's like your seven-year-old Timmy that just sits in the corner and cries. Yeah. 
That car is dumb. What? <laughs> the tires. The tires look very, very stupid on this. But um, yeah, that's really all the all that I got for this video. So uh, if you like what you see, just do me a favor: like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, and um, I will be responding to. I'll actually be responding to my audience and looking at the comments and trying to find what I should do more of. I also live stream over on Twitch, mostly zombies content, twitch.tv forward slash cluster potato. I will leave that link in the description as well. Feel free to drop by and give me a shout. I usually stream over in the evenings. But with that said, that's really all I got. So, um, peace.